Well, we are off to a start. <laughs> we purposely this year schedule a lot of away games. We thought that last year we were a very young team that struggled on the road but played well at home. And so to make a change, we felt like we needed to get accustomed to being good on the road. Um, started off with a very tough San Francisco team. Uh, thought that didn't play our best match against them, but definitely learned a lot. And um, over the weekend, saw our team definitely improve as the weekend went. Uh, definitely think that we have a lot to build on. We're still a young team. I have Alexis Cage is sitting with me as a sophomore. Uh, majority of our team is sophomore and freshman. And I think the thing that we want to do this year is see our team get better every game and, and just be playing well by the time we get into a conference. And we definitely see that ability in our team and our schedule is very, very, very tough in the preseason. So that we know that if we're playing well by the end of preseason, that we'll be very ready for, for the season. And I think um, they're working hard every day, learning more every day. We have the athletic ability in the gym to do well. And I'm excited about where we're going to go from here. So um, definitely some, some fun athletes in our gym right now. Coach, what's been the uh, biggest challenge of being so young? Uh, game IQ. You know, just kind of understanding the game. And uh, I think maybe one of the disadvantages is that our starting, uh, I'd say our top eight are so much physically superior to the, <clears throat> the next seven that we and we get a false sense of greatness in practice. And so when we went and played San Francisco, we saw a much bigger block, a much um, more experienced team that we see in practice every day. So we, we kind of had a wake up call, a, a much needed wake up call to really understand the level that we need to be at. And so um, as hard as it is to, to take that loss, you kind of need that loss to come back and say, okay, here's the bar. You know, what are you going to do to meet it? So when you have a young team that is, is eager to win, they're willing to take that challenge and come back and work and be better. So um, we see that. And we also build our practices now to be a lot more challenging for them, to, and now they understand why. Coach, when you're, uh, you got matches with the Pacific TCU, Oregon State this week, weekend at home, but when, when a match gets started, first set, first set per se, what kinds of things are you looking for to know yourself and your coaching staff that, hey, we're playing well tonight, or maybe we aren't on our game? What kinds of things do you see, can, maybe can we see if we're watching? Cohesiveness, for one, is one thing that we look at, is how well is our team kind of clicking together? Um, one thing that we saw in the San Francisco, as soon as it got kind of tough, everybody kind of goes into themselves. And then when we were playing well against uh, Bakersfield, we were coming together, we were talking more, we were really clicking on all cylinders as a unit. And that's, that's an important part of the game of volleyball. It's, it's really hard to play as individuals. And so when, when things are flowing really well, it shows. Um, when one person is, is getting tight and starting to make a lot of errors, then we get quiet and, and it, that, um, that rhythm kind of gets, gets um, kind of thrown off. So we look to see how well we're just flowing, how comfortable we are, how we rebound after an error or after a point on the other team and that we're not giving up strings of points. So if we give one, then we get one back and then we know that we're doing all right and we're hanging in the game pretty well. Alexis, what kind of things do you have to do when you're on the floor to kind of lead the team and, and get things going the right way? Um, a big thing for me this year has been talky. I mean, um, we were so young back, like when we, even last year, um, we never really had that big voice on the team because when I started playing, we had a ton of seniors, so I didn't have to play that role. So I feel like this year and probably next year, it's going to be the voice on the court because I know that when we start to get down, we get quiet. And that's when things start going flat and things start going south. So as long as we keep the talk up and keep the energy up, that's when we're at our best. So I feel like that's going to be key this year, especially in preseason when we're playing these top teams. Like 
we're going to need to keep up even if we're down. What do you like about hitting from the outside? <laughs> um, I like how many options I have and places to hit. I can go inside, I can go outside, I can go anywhere. Um, I like that I can change tempos. It's like you really are free out there to choose whatever you want and because you're out there you can see the whole court so you're not limited and I can play around my teammates so I feel like in that part I can help like spread out our offense and so it's been really fun being out there. It's always been my favorite. What was your volleyball upbringing? How did, when did you get started? Um, I started end of eighth grade year. I played soccer before that for whatever reason but then I outgrew it and um, Ever since I started playing, I just knew that it was a sport for me. Um, I naturally, I just, I don't know, I good, I'm good at it. I like how competitive it is. I like the team aspect. Everything about it was for me. And so just the more I played it, the more I fell in love and just went from there. No basketball? <laughs> no basketball, unfortunately, for my dad. <laughs> Broke his heart. <laughs> Did you really resist it? Or? Oh, I really did, did yeah. <laughs> he really tried and I really <laughs> resisted. <laughs> and what was it about it? Was it because he did it or because? No, I just, I am very skinny and I just did not see myself out there being able to push around girls and I don't like to be touched so I feel like I'd get <laughs> angry so it just never was the sport that appealed to me. <laughs> what position do you play in soccer? Um, I was a forward, okay. and then I was also a stopper. I played for like since like second grade to eighth grade. My mom was a soccer player, so that's where that came from. Do you like your brother to join you? <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> uh, I would love for him to join me here. Um, I know it's definitely one of his top options, and we are definitely like very close because we're so close in age, and he talks all the time about it. So he's going to be here soon, actually. So you guys can talk to him. <laughs> You're the big sister. How much influence do you have? A lot, because I'm, I'm, I'm in charge of our siblings. But um, I mean, I definitely talk the highest about the school and everything about it. And I mean, I know like going into college, being an athlete, it's, it's hard your first year. So you know, having some support is definitely helpful. So I definitely let him know that. So rooting for us. <laughs> Coach, is there a certain challenge slash fun in trying to rebuild this program back to where you were a few years ago when you ran away with the conference championship and, and now, as you said, you have such a young team, so you're getting to watch all these kids grow now and, and hopefully become what that team was a few years ago? That team and more, for sure. And just the fun is, is every day and the athletes that we have in the gym, it, it's very fun. and it, you know, obviously we're focused on what we want to be, but the day-to-day, -day, seeing the athletes that we have, seeing the work that they put in, and even just the mindset of the athletes that we have now is so different, um, even from that team in 2012, that um, the future is exciting. You know, it's, it's hard. It's always hard to, to experience loss and, and to not achieve what you want to achieve every day, um, every match, but when we look at the long term and know where we're going and with this group, we, we kind of have to remind ourselves that we still have you know, two years with Cage's group. Um, it's, it's so, so exciting. And knowing that we're building a good foundation um, kind of keeps us grounded so that we're not trying to get there tomorrow because it just doesn't happen that fast. And so um, I think things are just really headed in the right direction. I think I said I'm, I'm really excited for the level of athletes. We kind of we made a little shift. We we have we're we're bigger, we're we're stronger, we're we're more athletic than we've ever been. Um, but that meant more teaching and kind of take a step back, maybe in volleyball IQ to be able to take a step further, longer away. So um, we recognize where we are and we know where we're going to go. And that part is really, really exciting. And we're going to get there. So that's fine. It's too bad you have to go to Hawaii next week. I know that'll kind of control. <laughs> well, there's good in it. You're right. <laughs> Nick, that will be our toughest challenge of the year, actually, though. Um, it's exciting Aren't that it's Hawaii. Still, like, uh, very prominent over there, though? Sometimes Don't I like to hide. <laughs> 
Yeah, but anyways, <laughs> we play number four Florida in Hawaii, and Hawaii is having a good year, so we need to rise to the occasion, not because of my being there, but because this is a test of where we're headed. And so um, I think for the team, you know, just for our goals, for where we want to be, it's about it's about these steps that we're taking, and Hawaii is a step in that, and it's just such a great barometer. This weekend is is another test. It's another step up from where we were last weekend, and we have a huge step to take this week, and then we get through this week, and we have another huge step to next weekend, and and then we, we keep going, and so it's nice that it's Hawaii, but it's not nice that it's Hawaii. Right. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, it, it's a tough preseason for sure, but I do like going back there, <laughs> and so do the girls. <laughs>